Marcel! auf einen der konstantesten Spieler der letzten 15, 20 Jahre. Er stand lange unter den Top 10. Er ist aktuell die 13 der PDC. Erreichte neun Major-Finals. Und äh, was die Anzahl an Pro-Tour-Turnieren betrifft, ist er längst im zweistelligen Bereich. Und er trägt seinen Spitznamen, weil die Region, aus der er kommt, bekannt ist für die Stierzucht. Ihr kennt ihn alle. Herzlich willkommen, The Bull, Terry Jenkins! To live up to after that uh, opening encounter between Pipe and um, Dine Pipe coming through 6 4. The highlight a 1 6 1 checkout to uh, book his place in the third round tomorrow. But uh, certainly Terry Jenkins and John Henderson are capable of uh, living up to that first match. Henderson involved in one of the most arduous battles yesterday, beating Andrew Gilding 6 5. Terry Jenkins, a man who has had some success on the European circuit this year. He reached the final in Gibraltar, lost to Michael van Gerwen in that one, reached the semis in Van Rij as well. Again, it was the uh, world number one who was his, or proved his undoing in there too, but Terry Jenkins certainly capable of having another good run here this weekend in Dusseldorf as well. Rod Harrington in the chair for the first time today. How do you see this one shaping up? Well, I think that uh, Terry Jenkins is going to be massively odds on. And uh, John Henderson is going to have to play a lot better than he did against Andrew Gilding. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Because uh, I can't see first. Terry Jenkins letting, letting him off. You know, Jenkins is a good old campaigner. He's playing really well at the moment. He's a solid, solid player. And I just think that John's going to have to up his game, which we know he's got the game to do that. He's proven it this year several times. 95. But Jenkins just got that extra gear at times. Jenkins might feel a bit hard done by as well. I mentioned that uh, run to the semis in Venner. I lost to Van Gerwen 6-5 there. 68. The crowd certainly played its part in that one. It could easily have gone the other way. And uh, he was a 6-5 loser in the quarters as well in Riza. Lost to Michael Smith, who went on to win the trophy. So what? Jenkins will perhaps feel he's close to so achieving so, something. Yeah, that, uh, after he lost to Michael and the crowd did, did give him a stick on that last double, wasn't it? Uh, that's, that's one of the 42. few times out of all the years I've known Jenkins to actually get really annoyed, you know, upset about it. Um, and it's the one thing in the game that we don't like, as we the first 180. But it, it's kind of a fact, and the more you try and stop it, the more they're going to do it. So, yeah. you know, at times you, it, it's the bare fact you've just got to, got to get on with it because there's nothing we can physically do. Well, it's fair to say that Henderson hasn't really hit the heights since his run to the final in Munich, where he lost to Michael van Gerwen. He suffered a 6-0 second round defeat by Jamie Caven in Venrij. Lost to uh, Michael Clark in the opening match in Riesa as well. And he also failed to come through the qualifiers, recent qualifiers for Mulheim and Innsbruck as well. Those two European tour yeah, events take place in September. Henderson. But Henderson does make a winning start here. He's off the mark. He leads by a leg to nil. Yeah, good solid 15 dart leg from John Henderson. 41. We know he hits a lot of 140s, does John. So if you can get that rocking motion going, as we say it so many times when we watch John play. But it is the one and only factor in John Henderson's game. If he gets the rock in motion in sync with the arm, then he's dangerous. Doesn't hit a lot of 180s, but certainly does hit an awful lot of 140s. As I said, talk about 180s. <laughs> Terry Jenkins puts the first one in of the game. Yeah, we had a few in the first match as well. Henderson threatening another there. Uh, the winner of this, by the way, will face either Brendan Dolan or Mark Walsh. 60. They're up next on stage. Yes, looking forward to that one. It won't be the quickest game we're ever going to commentate on, but the quality 57. will be there. Uh, 
Well, Jenks is getting a good first dart, but he's not 60. following up. There's two bare 60s on the trot after the first dart being in the perfect position just below the treble 20. Normally he just lays it on the flight where John's darts are sticking up, so he slams it into the darts. Well, this would be a cracking shot out from Terry Jenkins. Wants yeah. the double top and gets it. We've seen a 1 6 1 from Justin Pipe already on the first game. Uh, Terry Jenkins to level it up at one leg all. Let's take about the 160. Well, the checkouts this weekend so far have been amazing, exemplary at times. It's been high quality darts so far this weekend. And with the big, big stars on show tonight as well. It will only get better and better. High octane afternoon and evening in store here in Dusseldorf. 6 1 8 is in the first match. Justin Pipe seems to like these European events. He seems to play well, but has the, a nice bit of luck at the right times, which is, we've talked about the luck. You need the luck. You ain't going to win tournament after tournament without that little bit of luck, 81. even the Van Gerwens and the Taylors at, at times. It may be the early part of the game, but it's essential. Uh, but Justin Pipe seems to have that little bit of run of luck and, mm. and put the form together with it. 100. Terry Jenkins threatening again here. 140. Well, Big John needs one of those 140s. It's a hard job to find it from that dart. Just moves across to open the target up. 100. Yeah, he'd be disappointed with that last dart. A lot of players would have gone 25 with the last dart to lead the two dart combination on 100. And, uh, sorry, 96. 100. Oh, nicely done from Jenkins, putting the pressure on here. Chance for a break, unless Henderson can take out the 101. It's not the ideal first dart, and. Well, you can see from the body language, his head's dropped here. 77. Terry Aguirre, 40. So for an early break and a 2-1 lead, three darts at double 20. Game shot on the third and There you are. Terry Jenkins. Yeah, one nil down. Yeah, so four, 14 Game dart on. leg from Terry Jenkins. And yeah, the 101 from John Henderson. Both darts going to the left. And as I said yesterday when he played Andrew Gildin, you know, if he's going to have bad darts, 60. 9 out of 10 of them will drift in the fives. Well, that is because he's right-handed and as he's swaying forward, obviously the right hand, as he's following through, will just bring the body to the left. It's, uh, 100. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to work that one out, <laughs> do you? 60. I don't, I, you know, we, we've talked about people's throws in there. I don't think that people analyse I know we talked about over-analysation, but, but sometimes you need to analyse the little chinks in your yeah. arm. And I think it's because it's, oh, it's only a game of darts, you play it down the pub. People don't actually look at it. You know, if you was a golfer and you had a little, if you hooked the ball, you'd go and see a coach. Yeah. If David Beckham, when he had problems at times, he'd go and see, right, who's the best striker to brawl? Right, Brian Kidd. Brian, sort me out, can you, at the moment? And, and but dart players don't do that. Yeah. And you'd make adjustments based on the analysis, as you say. Yeah. Well, tennis players, which is your game, they, yeah. they, they do it all the time. Yeah, they change their grip, they change their stance. It's easily done. It's all about changing habits and being prepared to change habits as well. And Terry Jenkins is uh, finding the habit of 180s here as well. Well, we're talking 30. about setting the shot up. Jenks has done that. Hits a 140 in the previous leg to set up the 40. Hit a 180 to leave 45. Absolutely perfect darts from Terry Jenkins. Game shot on the fourth leg. Yeah, he's found Terry it. Jenkins. Just crept under the wire. Fifth leg is John to throw first. Game off. Third 15 dart leg for Terry Jenkins. Just the 114 dart leg in there as well. But he's getting the job done here. The bull. 85. Yes, level 15s for Terry Jenkins, as we call it. One hundred. I think Terry Jenkins is in that age, that era of, do you know what? 
He's got another business, obviously, property business. He's got a property business. He owns a few properties. One hundred and thirty-four. And antiques still deals in that, which keeps the pressure off the darts. And he just he, he kind of loves the darts now, and he thinks, well, well, I can earn money at it. So he hasn't got that pressure of paying the mortgage every week, which is a huge difference to co compared to a lot of other players. Yes, yeah. just gives you that freedom, doesn't it? It does. One hundred. Without being complacent at the same time. Oh, Terry Jenkins never complacent. No. I put him in the same category as Dennis Priestley with, with that sort of type of uh, attitude. One hundred and eight. Well, he's finding the one eighties with increasing regularity here. And Henderson struggling to keep up, but uh, that's a good response. Terry eighty one. But still. Despite that ton 50, Jenkins has a terrific chance here at double 12 for a 4 1 lead and another break. 69. Well, Henderson January may well get 32. away with it. Well, it's going to keep him in the game, although it's still on his throat. Well, that's a long way off. Yeah. Well, yeah, a little wonder he just uh, takes a moment there, John Henderson. Double eight, just outside the wire. And that's well inside the wire. So. Well, it's happened a couple of times yesterday against Game Andrew Gill, didn't Andrew Gill Terry let Jenkins. him off, but as we said at the start of the game, Terry, Terry Jenkins first. will not let Game him off. off. He's going to give him chances. John Henderson is going to get punished by this man, Terry Jenkins. Yeah, 13 dart leg that time. 3 one eight is in the match now for uh, Jenkins. 62. Takes the tally for the day to 9. Well, there we can see the rock in motion, I and mean, it looks pretty good. It was in sync with those three. The thing is, that when you've got a stance like that, if you're solid, then you're just letting go of the dart the same all the nice time, set. because your body's not having any influence on where the dart is going to be released. But with John Henderson, you know, he only has to rock a little bit too quick and the dart's going to be let go uh, a lot later Six. or further into the board. Mm. Or he can let go of it a lot earlier. And, and he has to put up with that, which we have to say he does it very well. 140. Jenkins looks very measured today, doesn't he? He just looks very smooth and it's very rhythmical. He's in a good place 41. here. He's 4-1 up, it's on his throat. Nine darts down to 202, and a big, big score here as well for Jenkins, just taking him to the finish line a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so it's been a very professional job from Terry Jenkins. He's not made any mistakes. And when John Henderson has made the mistake like he did in the previous leg, um, Jenkins has punished him. So, 17 tops for a 5-1 lead. Game no problem lane. whatsoever for the ball. Yeah, good Simple averages. Just under 104, 50% on. on doubles. Take that every day of the week. But John Anderson isn't done yet. Maybe too little too late for the Highlander. First 180 of the match for him. 100. Well, there we have a run of scores. 60. That is quite pretty is not a real word dark players use, but I'm going to use it. A pretty run of scores there. <laughs> neat and tidy. Neat and tidy. OK, <laughs> we're going neat and tidy. Yeah, that's very impressive scoring. Not one leg over 15 darts between them. 140. Yeah, this could be another sub 15 dart leg as well for Jenkins. Or indeed for Henderson. But it's Jenkins who's perhaps a slight favourite to win this seventh leg. Well. Bullseye it is for a 5-2 deficit. Jenkins with the chance to finish it off here for a 6-1 win. That's actually found the 7, so he's left with 74, as you can lip-read there. Oh, 
and he's found the treble 14 as well. Double 16 he 65. needs, and he wasn't a million miles away. John Deere and 25. No, he wasn't. That would have been for 12 darts. So now John Henderson, double 12. Oh, and that's a long way off. And so 13. is that. Yeah, he can't afford chasms like that. Double eight then. Maybe a 14 dart leg to finish things off. Maybe a 15 dart leg, Terry. Don't ruin the record. No, he hasn't. There it is. Not one leg over 15 darts for Terry Jenkins in that 6-1 win. The bull stampedes his way through. The Highlander simply not able to live with Terry Jenkins today. And the man who reached the final in Gibraltar, the man who reached the semis in Venray, the man who reached the quarters in Riza is through to the third round. A very, very impressive performance from him. A 160 checkout as well. Four 180s in that match. Loads to admire about Jenkins' performance there. He is through to face either Brendan Dolan or Mark Walsh. They're up next on the stage. Let's hear from your latest winner, Terry Jenkins. Klasse Auftritt von ihm, aber auch Applaus für den Highlander, für John Henderson. Schön, dass er hier nach Düsseldorf gekommen ist. Terry, congratulations. Average of 105. It, it looks too easy when, it, when it's running that way. Yeah, I, I love these European tools now. I struggled when, when they first started. I struggled in them, but now the crowds are brilliant and the atmosphere is right. And I just get in that right sort of mood and I just go up there every time in the right sort of mood sort of thing. When do you realize that it's working that well? Is it in the morning already? Is it just on stage here? I don't know really. I just, I, I've been playing well on the circuit. Um, I'm playing well on the floor. I'm, I'm, I'm losing a few games that I shouldn't lose, but I'm not too worried because I'm playing well. So as long as I'm playing well all the time, I'm confident. See you tomorrow again. Thank you very much. Terry Jenkins. Er fühlt sich wohl. Er sagt, das war natürlich ein Mensch, das spürst du vom ersten Dart an. Dass es gut läuft. 160 Punkte gecheckt, 480er geworfen, 150.